Do contraceptive hormones affect women's desire and arousal? What precautions should be taken to avoid pain or discomfort during anal sex? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Contraceptive hormones can affect women's sexual desire and arousal. Some women may experience changes in desire due to hormonal influences, but responses vary depending on the type of contraceptive and the individual. Some precautions to avoid pain or discomfort during anal sex include properly preparing the anal area with sufficient lubricant, starting with gentle movements and gradually increasing intensity, as well as communicating with the partner to ensure that both are comfortable and enjoying the experience. It's also important to use clean and properly maintained condoms and sex toys to prevent irritation or infection. Academic research. The Kama Sutra is a subject of study in academia, where its historical, cultural, and sociological aspects are analyzed to better understand its impact on contemporary society. Acquired Premature Ejaculation Although primary premature ejaculation occurs from the onset of sexual activity, acquired premature ejaculation may develop later in life due to factors such as stress, anxiety, or relationship issues. Addressing Female Sexuality Unlike many historical texts on sexuality, the Kama Sutra dedicates significant space to exploring the pleasure and sexual needs of women, making it an important reference for understanding female sexuality today. In many African countries, sex education often faces challenges due to lack of resources and prevalence of conservative cultural norms. However, there are efforts to provide information about HIV-AIDS and other sexually transmitted diseases through community education programs and awareness campaigns. Age and prevalence. Although more common in older men, erectile dysfunction can affect men of all ages, including young men. It is estimated to affect at least 10% of men at some point in their lives. Aging effects. With aging, the quality of erections and the ability to achieve orgasm may change. Older men may experience a decrease in erection firmness and increased difficulty reaching orgasm. Alternative positions. In addition to traditional sexual positions, some women enjoy more creative and unconventional positions, such as the 69, the screw, or the sex swing, which offer new sensations and experiences. Amateur pornography. The rise of the internet has facilitated the production and distribution of amateur pornography, which is often characterized by its authenticity and lack of professional production. In certain Amazonian communities in South America, sexual education is transmitted through myths, stories, and ceremonial practices passed down from generation to generation, integrating sexuality with worldview and relationship with nature. Anal stimulation. While not all women enjoy anal stimulation, some find pleasure in positions that allow for stimulation of this area, such as the doggy style or spooning position. Ancient history. Sex toys have a long history dating back to antiquity. Artifacts dating back thousands of years, such as stone dildos and erotic toys, have been found in archeological excavations. Ancient practice. Anal sex is not exclusive to the modern era. It has been depicted in various cultures and times throughout history. Anorgasmia is the inability to achieve orgasm. It can be caused by physical or psychological factors and may be treated with sexual therapy. Anorgasmia and clitoral stimulation. Most women experience orgasms through clitoral stimulation, so focusing on this area during sexual play can increase the likelihood of experiencing orgasms in individuals with anorgasmia anorgasmia, and Kegel exercises. Kegel exercises can strengthen the pelvic floor muscles and improve genital sensitivity, which can increase the likelihood of experiencing orgasms in individuals with anorgasmia. Anorgasmia and menopause. During menopause, hormonal changes can lead to sexual symptoms, including anorgasmia, 
due to decreased estrogen and testosterone levels in the body. Anorgasmia and pelvic floor. Dysfunction. Problems with pelvic floor muscles, such as pelvic floor dysfunction or vaginismus, can interfere with the ability to experience orgasms due to tension or pain during sex. Anorgasmia and performance anxiety. Sexual performance anxiety, fear of failure, or pressure to satisfy the partner can contribute to anorgasmia by interfering with the ability to relax and enjoy the moment. Anorgasmia and physical exercise. Regular exercise can improve blood circulation and promote the release of endorphins, which can help reduce anxiety and improve sexual response in individuals with anorgasmia. Anorgasmia and relaxation techniques. Learning relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga, can help reduce anxiety and improve the ability to experience orgasms. Anorgasmia and sexual therapy. Sexual therapy is a common treatment option for anorgasmia, as it can help identify and address the underlying causes of the disorder, as well as improve communication and intimacy in the relationship. Anorgasmia in men. Although less commonly discussed than in women, anorgasmia can also affect men, causing difficulties in achieving orgasm during sexual intercourse. Antibiotic resistance. Some bacteria that cause STDs, such as gonorrhea, are developing resistance to commonly used antibiotics, making treatment more difficult. Association. Between breast size and attractiveness, perceptions of breast attractiveness vary among cultures and individuals. There is no ideal size, and beauty is subjective. In countries like Canada and Australia, inclusive sex education programs are being implemented that recognize and respect the diversity of gender identities and sexual orientations, thus promoting acceptance and equity. Available treatments. There are several treatments available for erectile dysfunction, ranging from medications like Viagra and Cialis to hormonal therapies, vacuum devices, and surgery in severe cases. Bacterial and viral infections. STDs can be caused by bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites, each with their own transmission characteristics, symptoms, and treatments. Barriers in prevention. Factors such as social stigma, lack of access to healthcare, and lack of sexual education can hinder efforts to prevent STDs. Biological factors. In addition to psychological factors, there are also biological factors that can influence premature ejaculation, such as hormonal imbalances, glands, hypersensitivity, or neurological problems. Body exploration. Foreplay offers women the opportunity to explore their bodies and discover what types of stimuli excite them the most. This can include touching, stroking, kissing on erogenous areas, and a variety of sensual techniques. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.